and welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making fresh red snapper with capers and tomatoes. So let's get started. We're going to start by seasoning our fish. The first and most important thing I can tell you about the fish is to get the freshest fish that you can find. And I bought this today at Blue Horizon, which is on Roxton just off of Kirby. So I'm giving them a little shout out because it's my new favorite local fish market. So here we go. I'm gonna take some onion powder. I don't measure it, I'm just gonna sprinkle it on so it kind of depends on the size of your fish. One of these fillets is a little larger than the other. And then my next seasoning is gonna be garlic powder. Again, same thing, just gonna see, sprinkle a little bit on. I'm gonna do one side and then saute and then I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my pan on I have one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter, real butter. And the reason that you combine the two, it just gives it a very nice flavor. And I'm gonna turn my, my gas uh, stove onto medium. Do not overheat this. You will burn the oil and the butter, so keep it on medium. So I've got now, I've already got the, gar the onion powder and garlic powder, and the next ingredient is paprika. Paprika, always makes chicken look nice and always makes your fish look nice so it's going to give it a nice kind of a reddish brown color not too much but it's going to give it just the right color that you're looking for because if not it looks too white i'm do this going to do the same seasoning on the other side of the fish once i get it in the pan the next is salt i like to use the himalaya salt but any kind of grinding salt will do and just give it a couple of grinds And the same thing with your pepper. I like to use fresh ground black pepper. Just grind away. You can always add more salt or pepper. You cannot take it away. Side is seasoned. And what we're gonna do is to put it with the seasoned side down and let it pan sear for about three minutes. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the skin side will be up. Then it'll be down. I'm gonna season the skin side when it's up. And then I'm gonna uh, take the fish out and I'm going to put it in on the pan while I make the sauce and then I'm going to finish it in the oven. Just checking the temperature I can see it's starting to bubble and I don't want it to burn so I'm going to go ahead and put my fish in seasoning side down you can hear it sizzle and I'm going to uh, season the other side. It's been about three minutes and I'm ready to turn it over. So I'm gonna just flip it over. You're gonna need two spatulas. Okay, I'm ready to take the fish out and let it rest. And then I'm gonna make the sauce and put it in the oven to finish. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more butter, maybe a half a tablespoon of butter, and a little bit more olive oil, not too much. And then I'm gonna to add to the, the juice of one lemon. This lemon's kind of small, so I'm gonna see how it looks. I might need a second one. Pretty juicy though. Other half of the lemon and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of capers and a little bit more than a cup of cherry tomatoes and I like the, the, the ones that come in three colors. I'm just going to saute it for a minute and let those get nice and soft. Let's 
smells so wonderful in here. Turn my heat up just a little bit because I don't have the fish in there right now, so I'm not going to burn it. So you just let these flavors blend together. Let the tomatoes soften a little bit. Then we'll add the fish back and put it in the oven to finish and blister your tomatoes. It's a real fresh sauce. There's no flour in it, so if you're gluten-free, this is perfect. If you're following Passover, this is perfect because there's no flour. ready to go in the oven. The oven is preheated on 350 degrees and I'm going to let it finish there so I'll meet you over at the oven. The snapper's been finishing in the oven for about three minutes so we're going to check it and see if it's ready. It looks beautiful. Let it rest for a minute and then plate it for you. This is a delicious dish of fresh snapper with capers and tomatoes and I know you're just gonna enjoy it as much as we have. Thanks for coming to Karen's Kitchen. I'll see you next time. Bye, enjoy.